When you look from above, you can see there are cenotes scattered across Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. You know, everywhere you go around here, you find these holes, they're called cenotes. There's thousands of them, and most of them haven't even been explored. Wow. Look at the size of this. This is magnificent. That's beautiful. So lower the gear, please. There's actually much more to this amazing cavern than first meets the eye. But to understand the scale of what happened here, you have to go deeper still, underwater. Descending into the depths of the cenote is like entering a new world. Fewer people have visited some of these drowned caverns than the surface of the moon. As divers have explored further, they've discovered the cenotes are actually part of a huge complex of tunnels and caves. And when they're mapped, it becomes clear that they follow a distinctive circular course through the jungle. They mark out the rim of a giant crater. Scientific instruments show the structure of the underlying rock has been deformed, revealing the boundaries of a colossal meteorite impact crater. The meteorite was likely over nine miles across, enough to cause utter devastation across the whole planet. It exploded with the force of 100 million, million tons of TNT. The blast sent a giant plume of vaporized rock out into space. A crater was punched half a mile into the Earth's crust. It was above this rim of weakened rock that this cenote is formed. The blast would have been ferocious. The blast plume that shot into space fell back to Earth. Many believe that billions of molten particles superheated the air to hundreds of degrees. Fires swept the planet choking the atmosphere with soot and dust. The dinosaurs and most other creatures were doomed. But fortunately, underground, there were some survivors. It took a few million years, but eventually conditions on Earth returned to normal. By wiping out the dinosaurs, the impact cleared the way for the rise of a new type of animal, the mammals, and ultimately, for humans. So from our point of view, this global disaster turned out to be no bad thing. <laughs>